Uh, well, one defender who wasn't in the Spurs squad tonight was Eric Dyer, and there's been a lot of talk about where he could be heading off to next. Uh, apparently, Bayern have agreed terms for the player. No final decision yet. Postacoglu was asked about it afterwards, after tonight's game. He said, I know absolutely zero. But when asked if he could afford to lose him, especially given Ben Davies picking up the injury that he just has, it was a straight yes from the Spurs manager as well. Stevie, what's that face for? I'm shocked that Bayern Munich are interested in Eric Dyer. That's what I know it's a, it's, a, it's a fall off the chair moment, it's isn't kind it? Of a, is he going to play? Where's he going to play? How's he going to play? I mean, does he play ahead of a put? Listen, Put Meccano hasn't been having the greatest of times, but if nothing else, he can run and he can recover. I mean, Eric Dyer can't run, and if you play him in the middle of the park, the argument is he can't get around sharp enough. Because teams are going to be... Team, teams generally are breaking on Bayern Munich. Generally, Bayern Munich are the team that dictate the game. So it's, it's about teams using their pace to get at Bayern Munich when the ball's turned over. None of that includes Eric Dyer as your defensive midfielder being able to cope with that. So that's why I was... I'm making the face. I'm like, why? It's quite telling when you have the defensive problems that he has and he's more than happy to allow Eric Dyer to go. I think it's been quite clear from the off that, that he does not fancy him. I don't think... He, and, I, and I think the, one of the main issues is, as Stevie touched on, is his lack of mobility. Right. So we potentially have here one of the titans of European football who have just had made a record signing in Harry Kane at the start of the season, club record, uh, fighting tooth and nail with Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, who, are, uh, who are unbeaten in the Bundesliga. Then we move on to the Champions League, possibly bringing in a guy who hasn't played well for, I'm going to say, at least two or three years, right? Is mistake ridden, is slow, is cumbersome, uh, and, and, and that's going to take Bayern <coughs> to the next level. I mean, it's, it's, if, we had, if they'd told us that he was going to Man United, we'd be going, nah, but that's... there's no way, there's no way he's making Man United <laughs> better. So, how does he fit in at Bayern Munich? Frank, there's no other team takes him. Newcastle don't no. take him. Anybody yeah, who's struggling at the moment just, just no, don't the, take him. No. Go on, Frank. Now, the, the, the thing is, why Bayern Munich would need a Spurs substitute to get better? That's the thing. Why do they need a Spurs substitute? Because that's the reality of the fact. You, when you come to Bayern Munich, it's because you are a top, top player. Eric Dyer is an international player. Of course, he's a good player. But as the guide mentioned, he has some issues right now. He has some problems that he cannot resolve, and he's why he's on the bench. So, Bayern signing him are sending a message to Postecoglou: "You not a good coach. You didn't see the Dyer's talent." Well, I think Postecoglou saw everybody's talent and everybody's weaknesses, and he sees that every morning at the training session. And I don't understand that. Really, I'm what? very, as Stevie said. I'm very surprised. Well, one of the schools of thought is that, that, that Tuchel has moaned and groaned about uh, the midfield, mm -hmm. right? And, and somebody sitting in front of the back four. Now, there's a school of thought that Eric Dyer might be able to do that job, which he, by the way, has done on the odd occasion for Spurs, but not very well, it has to be said. Two reasons, a bit cumbersome on the ball and not the most mobile getting around. Now, Polino was a player that we're trying to bring in from Fulham. They were unsuccessful back in the summer. The one thing he can do, he can get himself around the field. He loves to make a tackle, sometimes yep. a bit rash. But he covers the full-backs, he, he tracks runs. This, if Eric Dyer gets... <laughs> if Eric Dyer gets a move to Bayern Munich, right, after the period he's had, there's a chance for the rest of us. Taking your boots out. Uh, Trust me, are, are you as baffled, Nadem? Um... Uh, to be fair, I, I'm not as hard on Dyer. You know, guys, listen, tell us what you think. But for me, <laughs> if he's going there, say, as a backup, then, you know, fair enough. Like, I, I don't know how this is going to work. I think Postacoglu has a particular style, and he's looking for a certain type of player to play that style at the back, midfield, wherever. And as a consequence, there could be so many players that fall out of fashion with the manager because he just, just doesn't see them as that. It doesn't necessarily, for me, mean that you're a bad player. It just means that it doesn't suit his eye. And when we look at him going to Bayern Munich now, I think there has to be something there because Kane's played with him. Tuchel seen him in the same league as him. So he sees that there's something there which he likes for Bayern Munich. 
And I don't think it necessarily raises their ceiling, but perhaps it raises their floor and gives them a sort of sense, well, if this happens, then this is what we'll go to. And, you know, most of us don't see him being, you know, the difference maker for Bayern Munich, but maybe that's because he doesn't have to be. And I think if he can offer some sort of competition and he can, you know, try and find somebody's best football again, then I think he'll offer some value to them for as long as he is there. But, but I need again, him. I didn't anticipate need him. Uh, Eric Dyer. Go on. Go on, Frank. It, it, it's how much? 50 million? Five. Transfer? <laughs> Fifth? Yeah. Well, five. Wow. <laughs> Less and than you don't five. need to make a difference. Okay. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Let, let's, we're, n yeah. None of us are saying that Eric Dyer's a bad player. We're not saying that. But what no. we're saying is the job that he's going to have to do for Bayern. He's not capable of doing it. You know, when he played centre-back for Tottenham, he was playing in a team that were defensive, so he had people around him. So the issue of getting around and, and having a change of pace doesn't come into it that much under Conte and Mourinho, because he's got players around him. Same when he stepped into midfield. You know, Spurs under Conte and Mourinho were, were a defensive team that, that, that br broke on teams, which again meant they had players around him. You go to Bayern Munich, they play open attack in football, they're going at the opposition, which means there's more space. And he can't cover that space. It's not that he's not a good football player, he is, but he can't cover that space, which is why we're all surprised that he's going to Bayern Munich. Except, but it's not like... I, I, I don't want to harp on about this, but it, I get why Postacoglu... And at the start of the season, we looked at it and went, right, why, why is Van de Ven coming in? Because they leave their centre-halves two on two. You've seen where the, most people watch them know where their fullbacks go. go. They go push up really high and sometimes into midfield. So they leave, leave themselves two and two at the back. Romero, Van de Ven, they're both pretty quick. Certainly Van de Ven is. And so I can understand Postacoglu not seeing Dyer as a fit there. But Stevie mentioned the managers that he played under before. Mourinho and Conte being the two high-profile defensive coaches. He wasn't exactly playing great even when Spurs were defending as deep as they were. Every time I watched them, I always felt Eric Dyer had some sort of mistake in him. I would never describe him, certainly not in recent years, as a solid uh, defender. So this is, <laughs> this, is, this is left field. This is Kai Havertz, the Arsenal 70 million. This is, this is where the hell is he going to fit in? Well, it makes Kai How is this going to work? Now, when it? he's watching the Bundesliga and he sees <laughs> Nicolas Sula, when he saw Nicolas Sula playing for... Bayern Munich and now at Dortmund, when he saw the likes of Max Hummels and others struggling to get around, he couldn't believe it. Look at the problems, the pace. So I just, unless somebody's throwing us a curveball here with this one, I, I just don't. <laughs> All right, let's, let's let Nadem finish his earlier point, though, because he's the only one who isn't baffled. But it is five million compared to the amounts that we're talking yeah, about for 500,000 that wouldn't matter. It's still baffling at a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, listen, I get it. I get it. We think, people think it's a terrible move, but I think I'm just going to wait and see. I don't believe he's going to be a starter straight away, and there must be a reason why Tuchel's decided he needs him now and needs him in January. You know, so I'm not as down on it. And I think when we talk about Spurs and how bad they've looked at certain points, I don't think there are many people who've played in, in the Spurs back four, except for this season over the last few years, who would say it's been fantastic for them. You know, they've had so many issues. People have made mistakes. They've been caught exposed. They've looked cumbersome, whatever we want to say. But I'm sure that there is something that's going to be in there. And I think when he goes to Bayern Munich, no, he doesn't feel like he's a Bayern Munich player. But again, I think he will offer something to the side because otherwise, Tuchel could have stopped it. The owners and stuff could have stopped it, like perhaps they did with Palina in August. But there's, there's going to be something there. I'm going, to, I'm going to wait and see. I'm surprised it's happened. But then for that amount of money, it's, from, it's 2024. So that itself is a, is, is a bargain, is it not? Yeah. But I think if there was any... And, and we have talked way too long about Eric Dyer, but <laughs> if there was any uh, solidity yeah. about his play, surely he'd be featuring even within the England squad. Right, well, let's see how solid the, the move turns out to be as well, obviously.